Mr. Speaker, in closing, I don't even know where to beginning, begin. Describing uh, closed rules as uh, threats to the institution, as disrespectful, as quote unquote shameful. Again, I remind the gentleman that last Congress, they brought 30 pieces of legislation to the floor that had not gone through committee. At the same time, at last Congress, 61% of their rules were closed rules. The gaslighting has got to stop. But we're here today to talk about Milcon VA and the International Kangaroo Court, known as the ICC. This week, Americans, when it comes to these two bills, will see a stark difference between House Republicans and the dangerous far-left extremists on the other side of the aisle. You know, some are saying that the, um, the, uh, the bills are, are partisan exercises, that they're full of culture war issues. It's the Republicans that are taking the culture war issues out of these bills, at least out of Milcon VA. Don't believe me? Look at, look at the bills, uh, look at, I'm sorry, look at the action of the VA. Under President Biden, the VA has gone far left and woke. Uh, these include initiatives in the VA like DEI, CRT, and they just waste taxpayer funded resources on these far left culture wars that are coming from the left. And if you don't believe me, just look at the actions of the VA. Uh, the department backtracked not too long ago after removing the iconic VJ Day picture from Times Square. You know, the iconic, the iconic picture of, of uh, VJ Day. For whatever reason, that, that wasn't woke and it had to be removed. Quite amazing coming from the VA. Uh, they also, the VA also removed from their mission statement a quote from President Abraham Lincoln. Why? Because that quote used male pronouns. You can't make this stuff up. And the department uses a gender gingerbread person that teaches veterans and employees that gender is a spectrum and it's fluid. How about the department's focus on uh, the backlog of thousands of veterans claims and veterans who can't receive timely care? Maybe they should focus on that instead of gender neutral, gen uh, gender neutral gingerbread men. That's why the House Republicans will pass FY25 Milcon VA that will focus the department's mission back to its core mission, taking care of veterans, not fighting culture war issues. We protect veteran Second Amendment rights, we prohibit DEI, we prevent critical race theory, and we put the Hyde Amendment into the bill. We are making this bill neutral and bipartisan. We are stripping out culture war issues that the far left extremists have put in it. But lastly, let's talk about the rule before us bringing up the piece of legislation that will protect U.S. citizens and service members and our allies, including Israel. And that is to make sure we're working against the illegitimate sham court, the kangaroo court known as the ICC. H.R. 8282 will reimpose the Trump administration sanctions against the ICC and demonstrate to the world that the United States supports our number one ally, Israel, and Israel's right of self-defense. I urge my colleagues to vote yes on the previous question. I urge them to vote yes on the rule, and I uh, yield back the balance of my time, and I move the previous question on the resolution.